Hello out there and welcome back to Card Hunter here in a town called Bastard. It's been ooh, a couple of weeks since I played this game now, we've had a bit of a pause, but uh, back into it. I've uh, done a, a little bit of grinding, just a tiny bit of grinding. I think the only thing that's happened is that Chris the Bearded uh, has uh, leveled up, which allows us to equip helmets. Uh, this was the only helmet we had. Um, and some of it's interesting and some of it's not kind of great. Uh, there's a thick hide armor, um, which has a, an extra one move. Armor two, roll three plus. That's, that's alright, it's pretty good. There's quick reactions. Whenever an enemy in front of you plays a magical projectile card affecting you, uh, draw a card. That's a keeper. Um, and it triggers on a roll of a four or more. That's really good because uh, Chris is often the target of magical projectiles, which often come from in front of him. So that's actually really, really good. Um, on the other hand, we've got Fumble, which is uh, one of the bad trait things. I think this is the first bad trait card we've got, maybe. If, if not, it's one of the first. Um, discard your old discard. That Now, that could be pretty bad, or it could be not actually that bad at all. Um, like, depending on the card you've got, obviously. So, it's it's maybe not terrible, um, but regardless, we're going to take a look at um, at what helmets we have in Kyber's Market here, um, just to see for, for kind of basis of comparison, I guess. Um, so, we've got an energetic helmet here, but it does need um, a, a thing, what are they called? Power token? Um, we've already got a power token um, installed on the shield, so and we don't have another one yet, so not that one. That does have quick reactions as well, though, so that's nice. Let's have a look at Rushing Aura, though, just to see what it is. So it's an armor one, uh, which isn't isn't great. Three plus, which is all right. Whenever you play a move card, add two to its move points. Uh, do not affect does not affect step moves. That's that's pretty good. That would speed him up quite a bit. Um, but what else have we got here? Well, there's some more stuff here um, that requires power tokens, so we can't use monkey skin mask that we can't use. It looks like this is the only one we can really use, which is the fool's coif. Uh, quick reactions again. Life-saving block. Block any of the base damage of this card is as much as your health. Um, that's all right. Pretty coincidental, though. Um, obvious maneuver traits. Reveal your hand when playing against the game's master. Don't draw a card to replace this. Uh, meh. I prefer what I've got, I think. Um, these ones might be awesome, but... Um, ooh, what's that? Push two other allies. That's good. I like that. Quickness aura there. Some of these are pretty sweet, but um, we don't. We just don't have the power tokens to install them. I think we're good with what we've got for the moment. I think we're good with what we've got. So let's take a look at uh, where we go next. We're doing the rescue from Shieldhaven Prison. This is the uh, the next one that we haven't done. Some have opened up over here. The Valley of Tezcal. That's a level 7 treasure hunt. And there's still a defense of Woodham here. I'm still not sure why that's locked. Uh, I don't know if I have to unlock it through uh, actually paying some stuff or, or what, really. Um, I'll find out between the next now and the next episode. But first of all, let's do Rescue from Shieldhaven Prison. Pizza! It's the Pizza Girl! Hi, I'm Karen, and I'll be your delivery person for this evening. Wow! Papa Manchu Pizza, always fresh and hot, and hey, what's that you're playing? Oh. Oh, he's embarrassed about doing roleplay in front of a girl. How delightful he ate his. Uh, oh, we're not playing. We're uh, studying medieval justice systems for our history test. Thanks for the pizza. I'm not sure that's better, Gary. Um, but, you know, whatever. Uh, rescue from Shieldhaven Prison. The Shieldhaven Prison is well nigh inescapable, but Baron Morton has hired you to do the impossible. Your mission, break in, battle past hardened guards, and rescue the Baron's wrongfully imprisoned daughter. The rewards are great, but so is the danger. Prepare yourself. Uh, okay, so this is for levels 5 to 6, which is what we are. Uh, four exciting battles. This is the first time we've had four battles, so this episode could, uh, could run a little long, especially if we start failing them. But there we go. Let's begin our adventure. Where was I? Oh yes, Baron Daughter Prison Rescue. To arms, adventurers! Prison break-in. By bribing a groundskeeper, you gain entry to the prison via a conveniently unguarded drain cover. Once inside, you set forth to rescue Baron Morton's daughter, Griselda, from this dank nightmare. Your first obstacle will be a guard lecturing some obnoxious servants. Well, quite. So... Encounter. Nob the laundry boy shrieks in panic, bringing your intrusion to the attention of two skilled men-at-arms. Okay, well these guys don't look too bad. You're going to need to deal with these guards before they can raise the alarm. Okay. So we've got to move quickly, presume I, I presume we, that means we've got to move quickly. Um, 
So let's get Chris the Bearded to start him to move forward. Uh, if you can dash around there. And then do a just do a quick zap on that guy, I guess. Would that do it? Or well, we could magma spray both of them actually, that might be pretty good. Burning three, so that'll deal with the other guy as well. So we are going to magma spray both of these. Guys. And that'll kill him next turn. Where is the alarm? All other allied groups draw a card. Oh I see. And that's presumably what you can do here. But that's fine though. That is fine. Um You are going to get zapped. Which means the next turn both of them will die. You are going to walk forward. Ouch. You are going to walk forward. Um Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll have to end the round there. Gary controls the victory location. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so it is a Right, he's got control for quite a long while. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of one of those misguided heals. These guys should die right now at the start of this turn. Yep, lovely. Um, you need to dash to here. We need to just move as fast as possible, I think. Heal. Oh, can't see them. Oops, oh well. Well, that's that. Yes, yes. Um, well, that's it, really. We can't do anything else, so. We've just got to move as fast as possible. So, yeah. Come on. Yes, I'm aware he controls the victory location. I've only got a control over two turns, though, so okay. But I think I'll, I mean, I could kill them before that. Really, um, let's get rid of simple strike. Both those simple strikes. Um, let's get rid of one of those short sparks, because the magma spray could come in handy. Let's get rid of a misguided heal and a righteous frenzy. Got to move forward as quickly as possible, really. Um, and then we can heal Melina twice in a row. Yay! Even better. Team shift, other allies move one. Uh, okay. Chris will take ages to get there. Get rid of that lunging hack. N no, I don't want to, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to attack the cannoness. Alright, why would I do that? Um, okay. Now we've got to deal with these guys really quickly because there's only three more turns before they win here. Um, so let's get rid of that bludgeon and let's get rid of that short spark probably actually no I need stuff that does lots of damage now really um, I can't wait for a dot so Ugh. got that fumble up okay uh, dash I've got lots of high range stuff actually so but if I went there, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so if I went there, I could... One, two, three, four. If I went here, I could hit everyone with everything. So that's a thing I'm going to do. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, here. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, well, I'm just going to kill this guy altogether, I think. Um, that's probably the thing to do. Huh. Ah. Ah. 
Hopefully I can do it before he kills me. Well, yes, I can. He's only got one turn, apparently. One, um... So that's fine. So let's just kill him. Completely. Oh! I only need to kill a man's arms. Okay, then. That was a lot easier than I thought. Um, with the guards defeated, you can now venture further inside the prison. A trap door at the end of the corridor is the only way forward. Loud voices can be heard from beyond. Collect that loot. Some uncommon boots there. Uh, and a long axe of retribution, which I think is what I've already got. Oh no, of repentance. Level 4 versus level 6. Okay. That's got a lot of reaching swings. Yeah, that's definitely better. Cool. Get in. And some level 4 and common boots with a dash, weak armor, rusty armor. That's level 8 common. Has anyone got really... Are these the same? Rusted iron boots? Yeah. Yeah. He does need that movement, so we'll just pop them in there. Huh. Perhaps Karen is chained to her pizza delivery job, just like the Baron's daughter is chained to this jail. Oh, Gary. Prison guardhouse. The prison is guarded by a brutish company of men-at-arms who dedicate their lives to administering summary justice to their guests. During their time off duty, they reside here in the guardhouse to play cards and drink rum. But the real danger here is the guard dogs. These cowardly beasts are capable of quickly taking down the most capable warrior if they are allowed to attack from behind. Okay, so let's not do that. Be aware, ATCB, it's not necessary to kill the servants to win. Are you chaotic or lawful? Well, in that case, I will focus on these three. Which should be fine. Um, what can we do? We can get, just get started with a Spark, probably. Some dogs, I think. Ah, I don't like that they make that noise. Um, okay. And we should be able to kill this guy this round with... Starting with a predictable stab. Return with a bludgeon. Able stab. And a... Uh, weak strike. Out of there. Fido delivers a vicious stab to Canless Bastard. Okay. Ow! That is big. That is big. Um, okay. Let's do a... What's the punishing strike? When this card does damage, increase its damage by two for each card in target's hand. Okay. Let's start. Ow. Well, heal yourself. Gus energizes Rex. He acts again this round. Oh dear. Uh, I need to move her away for the moment. And then I need to go Oh, I can't go around there. Okay. Will this work? Yeah. I think so. Yes. Ha. And they've got a dot on them now as well. And finally, I'll walk Chris over here. Ouch. They're pretty uh, pretty badass, those guys. Those dogs. Okay. Sneaking around behind me, eh? Should take that dot damage. Should be able to take it down in one or two attacks now. Depending on what I get. Oh, or apparently not, because I've got no fucking attacks. Okay, fine. Holy Presence. Um, okay. Um, oh, we've got Startling Strike here. What does Righteous Frenzy do again? Adds two damage, right? Yeah, okay. We need to turn Chris around first. That's what we need to do. And then we need to get over here with the cannon S. And we need to do a startling strike. And it's done. I don't like hurting the dogs. 
with the guards taken care of, you can now proceed into the prison in search of Griselda. Frenzied barking can be heard from up ahead. More of these accursed canines must be dealt with and quickly. Oh dear. There's a chest opening. More boots. Level 6 common boots. Squeamish. Attach this card to yourself. When you play a card, you may not target a card whose health is less than or equal to the base damage of that card. Uh, that's awful. I'm never using them. Uh, <laughs> what's this got? Cautious Sneak. It's got three movement. You must end this move adjacent to blocking territory. Um, it's sort of alright. It's just less movement, though. That's the thing. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Whoa. Okay. Where do these blue Manchu designers get their ideas? I could never come up with this sort of material. Gary, you set the bar low for yourself. Uh, prison Dogyard. The Dogyard is home to a pack of three starving guard dogs who have been trained to attack strangers on sight. They are tended to by a feral urchin, and though incapable of speech, he has the audacity to accost you. Make this cur and his charges share the same fate. Okay, then. Encounter. I rolled a 12, so your attempt to calm the dogs fails. Possibly you should have put more points into animal husbandry. <laughs> uh, Role-playing joke. Um, okay. Oh, short range, that's a shame. Um, let's move Chris forward first. Whoop, okay. Uh, well, he needs to turn around before he does anything else, really. Otherwise he's going to get horribly mutilated. Oops. Uh, click anywhere to continue. That's not good. Okay. Uh, you need to move now. And you move. Let's say... There. Yay! Not too bad. You need to do a big zap on the urchin. And you can do... What are you on? 12 out of 15. Yeah, so healing touch is actually... Draining touch is actually pretty good now. Heal back up to top. And you can... Able stab on this guy. And we can follow that up. We can try and just kill him, actually. We can kill two this turn if we do this carefully. Scamper. Ah. That's annoying. Um, we can still do the two damage on them. And can we get to them? We can get to them, so it's fine. We're fine. Yes, this is what we wanted to do. And then we should be able to magma spray this guy. There we go. Don't like hurting the dogs. Uh, end the round. And then this dog should uh, be... Time for little chunks in swift order. Um... This is a good one to do. Punishing strikes is a good one to do first. Um, because I get extra point, extra damage for how many cards I have in his hand, so at the beginning of the turn it's better. Um, and then I can't see how much he's got left. Three. Right, able stab should do it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, it does. Apparently. Okay, fine. Uh, crossing the dog yard brings you to the entrance of the dread prison catacombs where the majority of the prisoners are held. Griselda is surely inside. Loot. So, some amethyst shards to sell. Uh, lunging glaive. That's an uncommon weapon. Um, let's have a look. So, lots of lunging thrusts, in other words, and lunging hacks. Lots of extra movement. Um, which is no bad thing, actually. Um... What have we got here? Able stabs, weak strikes. The other ones are range two, so that helps me. And these have all my bludgeon stuff, which 
syncs up nicely with Bruiser. Um, so I'll probably... Hmm. And it's got Overswing, which is awesome. I'll probably pop it in here for now, but it's interesting. Ah. If you free the Baron's daughter, perhaps she and Chris the Bearded Bruiser might like to hang out sometime. Well, maybe. Maybe, Gary. Uh, prison Warden. No one has escaped the prison in 20 years. Imagine Warden Gorold surprised to find that someone has broken in. He will seek retribution for this outrage. He has a small retinue of servants and a fanatically loyal hound named Scar. Scar wears a bespoke chainmail suit, making him even tougher to harm than the dogs you've faced thus far. You hear Griselda's faint cries for help from nearby. For the house, Morton, to battle! Hmm. Chainmail dog. Okay. Encounter. Warden, warden, that's them, screams the snivelling servant. Stand back, knob. Scar and I will punish these criminals, commands the brutish master of the jail. Well, quite. Oh, excellent. We've got some lovely uh, opening uh, zaps and stuff that we can use. That's lovely. Um, before they even close with this. So let's start softening up the warden, shall we? I do think so. And let's get a magma spray on him. Lovely. Okay. Um... Is he going to come any further towards us? See, by moving closer to him, unless, if he hasn't got a movement, I'm just basically adding to uh, the damage I'll take, probably. Uh, what's healing pulse again? If we allow within three squares, that's pretty good. Punishing strike, though. Uh, that's pretty worth it. Let's get up to him and see if we can just cause him a hell of a lot of damage. Let's start with a punishing strike, shall we? For nine! Oh, lovely. Um, well, it's a shame to waste another time, but let's just kill him. Fantastic. Um, okay, we just got two, two starts for that, I guess. Um, so, let's run closer to the dog. Shame about that lunge. But fine. Um, let's dash forward to here so that we can do some stuff. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that's within three. One, two, three. Yes, okay. Let's just do the healing pulse now. Okay, and we'll have to pass because that is. We've only got one card left. Rather that, that happens. Rather that happens. Okay, let's um, let's do some exciting stuff. Um, let's get a big bludgeon in on it. Ouch! And a short spark. And uh, let's get a minor heal in on Melina. And let's get after the dog with Chris. And we're probably going to leave it there. That looks fine to me. Ouch. Maybe not then. Send that round. And this should be a quick kill now. Yep, that should be it. Hooray! Yay. Monsters slain, prisoners rescued, treasure looted. Phew! Let's crack open a celebratory, ce celebrate, I'm terrible, celebratory bottle of soda. The defeated Warden Gorald has a set of keys on his belt which open the cells throughout the prison. You dis discover Griselda in a cell nearby, unmolested but bedraggled. She is overcome with relief at her rescue and promises great rewards upon her safe return to her father. Rewards you have truly earned. Loots. Uh, level up for Neolina, which is great. Elf skill we can have now. Elf skill and a shield. 
Okay. Uh, so there's some uncommon treasure to sell. Uncommon divine skill, common arcane skill, common staff. Okay, let's just take a quick look first. Yeah, that, that ain't gonna cut it. So that's going out. Common arcane skill. Uh, and this is a light, high level one. That would, yeah, it's changing up for fire basically, but we don't need to do that. Uncommon divine skill. So that's a common divine skill. So this is a couple of levels lower. So what is this giving us at the moment? Holy Presence, Invigorating Touch, which is nice, and Purge, which I just don't find myself using. Um, so it's Holy Presence, another Healing Pulse, and a Minor Heal. Um, so how often do I use this Invigorating Touch, I guess is the answer. It is useful. Um, but then another Healing Pulse and another Minor Heal would also be useful. Tell you what, we're going to swap for now. I'm going to try it out. Uh, we also get to use uh, another shield on the Cannoness. Um, we don't have a power token, so we can't use that. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Is that level 6? Yeah. Okay, well, let's just slot that for now. We can always buy something better. Uh, and then elf skill. I don't think we have an elf skill. Oh, we do have an elf skill, but it requires a power token. Meh. Uh, okay. That's fine. Uh, take all and finish. And let's go buy an elf skill from Kyber's Market, an affordable one. Um, that involves no power tokens. Um, so these are fine. God, what's superstitious? When any other character dies, you must discard your hand. No. <laughs> uh, encumber cards. We don't. I don't really use those. Reveal target's hand, then move three. Eh. So this healing dash. At the end of this move, heal one for every square you are distant from your start square. That's quite nice. Scouting run. Yeah. Skip. That's all right. We've got uh, obvious maneuver. I don't like that. Melee damage. When am I ever going to use that? We'll we'll get this one. We'll get this one. There we go. Wonderful. So there we go. Uh, rescue from Shield Haven Prison completed. Um, I saw part way through this episode um, that I was recording this not in full screen. So I don't know how that all worked out. Sometimes it uh, still records as full screen. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it records the desktop in a weird way. And hopefully it hasn't done that. But um, yeah. So if this is all a bit messed up or if you can see my start bar or windows bar or something. Then, you know, soz. Uh, so yeah. If you've enjoyed it, hit like. Subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. And I'll see you next time for more Card Hunter. Bye.